Hey everyone, it's Megan from Fashionably Thrifty, and today I'm going to be doing the Closet Confidential tag. No, I was not tagged to do this, but I just really wanted to do this tag, and I don't think it really matters if you were actually tagged or not. Pretty much people just do it. I also know it's like years and years old, so probably almost everyone and their dog has done this tag, and I'm like one of the last people to do it, but my channel is new and I still want to do this tag, so who cares? The first question is, what is your oldest item in your wardrobe? And I'm pretty sure that is this denim vest. You will have seen this in my denim on denim lookbook, but yeah, it is just this dark wash denim vest. This is from Walmart, it's actually from the kids section, and it's a size 7-8. So yeah, I think I got this when I was like probably about 8 or 9 or so. Oh, I've had this for quite, quite, quite a long time, but I just can never seem to get rid of it because while I can't like button up or anything, it still looks really, really good and I have a pair of jeans that are like practically the same exact wash, they look like they're supposed to go together. And because those jeans are high-waisted, it actually looks really good for this to be like cropped and just kind of open. So even though it's like super small, I still think it looks great with those. So yeah, I don't really think it's something that I'm going to ever really get rid of unless it falls apart or unless those jeans fall apart or whatever because it, it still works. Second question is, what is the newest item in your wardrobe? And this is something that's like so weird for me to showing because um, I'm not a purse girl at all. I, I just don't care for purses. I'll have my one that I'll always use and I'll never change it. But I needed a new purse. And the only purses I ever find myself actually like looking at and liking are box purses, which I knew I would never find at the thrift store, or um, kind of satchel bags. So I found this one. And I'm so surprised because I'm actually like so happy with this and I was like so excited when I got it. Which is so weird for me to say about a purse. Like I never thought I'd be excited about a purse. This is genuine leather. It I can't there's no brand on this anywhere so I have no clue what the brand is but it's genuine leather and it they were selling it for um for thirteen dollars but I went on a half price day because so I got it for six fifty which was amazing for a genuine leather bag. Yeah, it just has a pocket here, and I'll have my stuff in it right now, so sorry about that. But it has, like, some, like, pockets here, and, like, a little thing. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of stuff there. And then it has, kind of, three compartments in the middle, like, these two compartments here, and then a zip compartment, um, there. And then it has a little pocket in the back, which I love, because I love putting my phone in here, so I don't have to keep opening and closing it to get my phone. It's a really long strip, so it's probably meant to be crossbody, but I don't like wearing things crossbody, so I don't care if it's long, I still wear it just over my shoulder, and I, uh, I'm just really surprised that I really, really like this. I never thought I'd really, really like a bag like The next question is, what is the most expensive item in your wardrobe? And I won't talk about these too much, because I will have included them in a haul and talked about them, like, way too much there. I'll just kind of link it up here so that you guys can see that if you haven't already. But they are my white boots. These are from Jeffrey Campbell. They're PVCs, so they're kind of like rain boots. They were $55, which for most people that's like pretty much like a normal like price for shoes. That, like I said, it's the most expensive thing I've ever bought. It was like so hard for me to do, but I knew I'd been wanting these for so, 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 so long. And these were the ones that I really wanted. And I couldn't really find any other like good white boots anywhere. And they've been so worth it. You will have seen these in almost every video since that one. I've just like included them so much. I am wearing them so much. I feel so amazing in them every time I wear them. I get tons of compliments on them. Everyone's like, ooh, whoa, those are neat. But yeah, Jeffrey Campbell white rain boots, $55, amazing. Next question is what is the cheapest item in your wardrobe? I decided not to go for something I thrifted because I mean, like I've thrifted so many cheap things and like, You'll see in one of my next videos coming up that like I got some things that were like super duper cheap. So I decided to go with something that I like bought in an actual store that was really cheap, but that I still wear all the time. So I did decide to go for these leggings. Now um, I wear my black trousers almost every single day, but if I'm not wearing my black trousers, I'm usually wearing these. I mean I do wear a lot of my other pants, but black pants are what I wear the most. These black leggings are the absolute best. They're from Walmart. Um, I actually get mine from the kids section because they're just a better fit on me. Um, I just get the extra large from the kids section. 
Um, they're the Faded Glory ones, but I totally recommend these. People think from Walmart that it's usually like really cheap quality. Um, this is my like probably like third pair of leggings that I've bought because I've been wearing them since I was like a kid or whatever. And like the last pair I had, um, this is my newest pair, the last pair I had, um, I'm still wearing now. I just more wear for like camping or whatever because they're starting to get really tatty. But I probably had them for like, I don't know, like three years or so and I've been wearing them like constantly in those three years and they just finally like months ago got like started like wearing out. Um, and so I bought these and these are holding up really well. Like they're they're just really 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 good leggings and so yeah I definitely recommend these I honestly don't know how much these are though I should have looked that up but I mean they're leggings and they're from Walmart they're like pretty cheap and yet they like really really last next question is what is your biggest bargain and this was so hard because I wanted to show like almost every bargain I've ever gotten because like a lot of times I go to their store I find things that are like $80 plus originally and I get them for like four or five dollars. It was so so hard to just pick one thing but um, this thing was definitely the thing that was the most expensive originally and it is this coat blazer so it goes down to about there um, and this is from Ann Taylor so you automatically already know it's expensive. When I got this, I looked up online to see if they still had this online to see how much it was. And they didn't have this, but they had something really similar. They had a couple things really similar at that time. And they were going from $250 to $300. And I got this for $10. And it wasn't even worn. Like, the pockets were still stitched together. Now I've opened them, but they were stitched together. It had, like, no wear at all. It had not been worn. Ever. And I got it for $10 when it was originally probably like $300. And I wear this so much. It like is pretty much the exact length of like most of my dresses. So it looks like perfect with them. It's a size 4 so it's a little bit oversized on me. Um, but I really really like the way it looks. Especially since I'm usually wearing like girly dresses whatever. And then it just has this oversized kind of coat blazer with it. And it looks just so great. And I'm just so amazed at how much of a deal this was. Next is what is the biggest waste of money and this is really hard because um, I have gotten rid of a lot of stuff like quite a lot of stuff throughout the past like year or so and so maybe there was something that would have been better in one of those so this is something that I know I will not get rid of it is this graphic tee and it is a Sherlock graphic tee like look at that graphic it is so adorable it's just like a cartoon version uh, it has Moriarty here holding the bomb and running after is Sherlock, John, and Greg and then Mycroft is flying up in the air with his umbrella and it's, oh, I love it so much. The problem is, I, I should have just bought this differently. I bought it, this off Redbubble and I have another actually Sherlock shirt from Redbubble that I love and it's one of my favorite shirts ever. I wear it so much. First of all, I wasn't thinking and I bought a unisex um, shirt. I don't know. I don't know if I didn't look at that thing or whatever and that's what it was automatically on and I just didn't think. The other one I got in a women's shirt and that was better. Um, this one I don't quite like how oversized it is, it's just not how I wanted this shirt to be. I just don't like the size of it. I wish I got in the women's small. And then I should have gotten a different color because this one I couldn't have predicted at all but it's like pretty see-through. So yeah, I just wish I got it differently because I would have worn this like all the time if I got in a small and then if I had known this would be see-through and I got a different color. Um, because I can't remember exactly how much this was, but it wasn't cheap. Like, it was not worth that much money. Don't want to ever get rid of it because I just love the, like, the graphics so much. It's so cute and, like, it makes me so happy because, like, Sherlock's my favorite show and it just, it, I love it, but I just wish I had bought it differently. Next is, what's an item that you love but everyone else hates? I decided to go with kind of an ironic thing because this... I hated at first too, honestly. Um, it is a hand-me-down and it is this, oh it looks so even like crazier on camera, oh my. It's this bomber jacket. Yeah. <laughs> so this print, this, this print, it's like basically like squares and like squares on top of squares and it has like red, purple, turquoise, kind of a goldish color and black. It is just insane and it's like borderline hideous and that's what I thought when I first saw it. It was folded up in this big bag of clothes 
and it saw it folded up and I saw the print and I thought actually the way the material was and the way it was folded up but it was a dress and I was like that is going to be a hideous dress and then I pulled it out and it was a bomber jacket and I was like that is going to be a hideous bomber jacket <laughs> and I said I'm just going to try it on for like the fun of it and I tried it on I love the way this looks on. It is this oversized bomber jacket, size medium, and it has bat wing sleeves, like bat wing sleeves. It's baggy. It's actually a sports jacket. It's supposed to be like a golfing or tennis jacket um, because it's from the brand Tail. Every time I wear this, I feel like I'm starting in a 90s rap music video. Like, I always feel like I'm some gangsta in a, a 90s rap music video and wear this, and I love it. Like, one of my friends, like, I showed it to her, and she was like, ugh, just like I, like, thought. And then I tried it on, I was like, wait, let me try it on, and she was still kind of like, no, no, Megan, no, what are you talking about? And I was like, well, you try it on. And she tried it on, and she, like, looked in the mirror, and she's like, I hate this so much because I love it. <laughs> I was like, and I know it's just those things when you put it on, it's like, I love how I feel when I'm wearing this. I feel so cool and awesome. And I just, I need to stop talking about this. But this is so weird, but I love it. Now, the last question, it's actually not a question at all, but it says, show us your three favorite items right now. And I'm actually not going to answer this question because if you guys subscribe to my channel, you will know that I do a monthly fashion favorites video and that is coming up next week. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun like picking out the stuff and creating it. So yeah, I will see you guys next week with my favorites video. Bye!